All right, this is the Polarization Lab 2, uh, Retardation Plates Lab. Uh, so we got our initial setup here, just to give you a little run through. We have our laser, we have our initial polarizer, polarize our laser coming out of here. We have our uh, spatial filter, uh, collimating lens, and then we have our um, chopper, which allows us to get a nice sine wave on our uh, oscilloscope. Um, and then back here, we have another polarizer. Um, in the lab, it's referred to as an analyzer. You could use a few things. We decided to go with the Polaroid lens, seemed to be the easiest. Um, so for the first step here, what we want to do is you want to make sure that <clears throat> without any of the, um, the wave plates in here, we want our signal to be at zero. And we want the analyzer, or in our case, our Polaroid, we want that set to the angle of zero, just to, to give us a nice base. So what you do is we want to rotate the initial polarizer until we achieve a signal of zero. It's right about there, should be fine. Right, and then just make sure this is set at zero so we can get, it's just easier to make measurements that way. Now we want to take our half wave plate and insert it in between our chopper and the analyzer Polaroid. Make sure everything's all nice and lined up. All right, and you want to set the angle on the wave plate to zero so that it is vertic uh, vertically lined up. So then we're going to go ahead and take our uh, base measurement here for where the half wave length, uh, half wavelength plate is at zero or in the vertical position. Um, we're going to go ahead and rotate that half wavelength plate in 15 degree segments around the unit circle, and then 30, and 45, and 60, and 75, until 90. Then we're going to go ahead and stop. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, at each of those steps, also take the Polaroid extinction angle. So here, when we're back at 15, we rotate our Polaroid. Oop, let's get back up to 15. We we'll rotate our Polaroid until we get back to zero. So here, we would then take the measurement for the Polaroid as well. Do the same thing here when we're at 30. See that we again have signal coming in, so we can rotate the Polaroid until we reach extinction. The same process follows through for the rest of the angles of the half wave plate, half wavelength plate in part one. All right, so for part uh, two of this lab, uh, we go ahead and we take out the half wave plate and we're going to put in the quarter wave plate exactly where it was. Make sure everything is lined up. And we want to check that at zero, with the, the angle zero on the quarter plate, we still get a zero signal. And then it asks us to set the angle to 15 degrees. Right about there. And then we're going to take some measurements using our analyzer uh, Polaroid. So for this part of the experiment, uh, we're taking measurements in relation to where the polarizer is here at the end. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at 15 degrees. And last time when we took just the extinction uh, point of the Polaroid, this time we're actually going to go around the circle in 30 degree increments and take a measurement at every 30 degrees all the way around. It's a good uh, check to know that here when we're down at 180, we should look uh, very similar to the signal we were having when we initially started here at zero. Um, then after we've done it for 15 degrees, we're going to go ahead and rotate the quarter wave plate to 30 degrees, and again, we're going to step through the Polaroid in 30 degree increments, all the way around the circle, and record the results. This was re repeated um, for the quarter wavelength plate, quarter wavelength plate going from 0 to 90 degrees in 15 degree increments. All right, so for our part three of the lab, we want to make sure uh, we want to leave the quarter plate or quarter wave plate in there, 
Um, we want to have everything set to extinction when the quarter wave plate is set to zero and our analyzer Polaroid is set to zero. Um, and then what we want to do is take our unknown wave plate, we want to place it in between the quarter wave plate and our Polaroid analyzer. Make sure it's all lined up. All right, we want the unknown to be set at zero. All right, and we should be getting a signal like shown on the oscilloscope there. Now what we want to do is we want to Extinguish. No, because we set it to 30 and then extinguish. Oh, no, okay, yeah. Okay. So we'll just set that part out and I'll start. Okay. So we put the unknown wave plate in there. We set it to zero at first. And then what we want to do is rotate the unknown wave plate until we reach extinction again. Which happens at a few points. We happen to pick about 130 for ours. So that's what we'll set it to. Alright, so once we have our unknown wave plate set to extinction, we're going to leave it at that position. Then what we want to do is we want to rotate our analyzer and our quarter wave plate uh, until... No. No. You rotate the... 30 degrees. Yeah. Why did you pick one clock 30? There was one at 40. So once we find the one of the extinction points for our unknown lens, what we would then want to do is rotate it 30 degrees away from there. So we'll go from 130 to 160. All right, and then we want to rotate our we want to rotate our analyzer until we're at the minimum point, which happens to be at zero. So. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to rotate our quarter wave plate until we reach extinction, which I'm getting at 120. All right, so we want to do the same process. We want to set it back to zero. And our analyzer is still at zero. We want to rotate this 45 degrees away from our initial extinction point. So we want to put it at 175. All right, once again, the analyzer is already set to give us our minimum signal. All right, and then we rotate our quarter wave plate until we reach extinction. All right, and then we go through the same process for 60 degrees away from our initial extinction point. So then we would set it at 190. Analyzer is going to be at zero again for maximum or for minimum, and then we just rotate quarter wave plate until we reach extinction.